The sun is the primary source of energy for all life on earth. Without it, life on earth would not flourish. Solar energy powers the resources, people and animals need to survive. India's development engine needs a way to sustain its exponentially increasing appetite for energy. Finding eco-friendly energy sources is imperative if we want to be able to meet our energy needs and care for our planet at the same time. Towards realizing the clean energy vision, India has already rolled out gigawatts of solar cells and unveiled grand solar plants for the future. NTPC is a Maharatna and the largest power utility in the country, playing a major role in meeting the power needs of the country, thus contributing to its economic and social development by contributing nearly 24% of country's generation. NTPC has a vision to be the world's leading power company, energizing India's growth. NTPC Group has 51,410 megawatt installed capacity with its presence in coal, gas, hydro, solar and wind power generation and coal mining. Taking a giant stride in its renewable energy commitment, NTPC has forayed into generating electricity via hydro and renewable energy sources in a big way. NTPC plans to be a 130 gigawatt company by 2032 with diversified fuel mix and a 600 billion units in terms of generation. On fossil fuel based capacity share would be of 30% and thermal based generating capacity share would be 70%. Uh, Government of India has put up a target of uh, 175 gigawatt of renewables out of that 100 gigawatt is going to be solar and out of this 100 gigawatt there is a sizable amount of uh, power capacity which has to be uh, either owned or facilitated through NTPC. 10 gigawatt NTPC is going to invest on its own whereas the 15 gigawatt we are going to purchase through the bidding process and in turn supplying to the discoms. So in total this is going to be 25 percent of the total uh, 100 gigawatt. With special thrust on renewable energy projects, NTPC has started putting up solar power plants all across the country. NTPC has 620 megawatts solar power capacity. NTPC plans to maintain its leadership position in the solar the way it has maintained the leadership position in the case of thermal power capacity. And therefore, NTPC is the endeavor is to sign with solar in the coming days so that the market share of NTPC in the total renewable energy continues to be equal or better than what it is in case of conventional energy sources. Southern India offers a vast potential for setting up mega solar power projects. Timamma Marimanu is listed as the world's largest banyan tree in the Guinness World Records. Located around 25 kilometers from Kadiri, it is only fitting that NTPC is setting up its ultra mega solar power plant just 10 kilometers from this world famous banyan tree to generate cleanest and green electricity. Solar radiation is one of the crucial factors in power generation. With its arid weather conditions, Anantapuram district is perfectly placed to become a solar power hub. The area basks in the sun for 365 days in a year and it has the highest solar radiation in the state. 
The Anantapuram Ultra Mega Solar Power Project is located in NP Kunta Mandal, about 35 kilometers from Kadiri in Anantapuram district in the Sunrise State of Andhra Pradesh. Phase 1 of the Anantapuram Ultra Mega Solar Power Project has 250 megawatt capacity consists of 5 blocks of 50 megawatt capacity each. Company acquired 1,250 acres of land for stage 1 of this Ultra Mega Solar Power Project. NTPC board approved the investment proposal for the project in April 2015. To promote Make in India policy of the Government of India, NTPC sourced solar power modules for phase 1 of the project from indigenous suppliers. A highly motivated NTPC team arrived at the site to take up the gigantic tasks of installation of the ultra mega solar power project with a constructive spirit and with an urge to achieve excellence. NTPC engineers and the workforce were engaged in the construction of the project ensuring quality and efficiency. From groundwork through MMS erection and PV module erection, testing and commissioning sequences, every step bringing its own learnings. As such, NTPC is learning in this area. We are learning the commercial models. We are learning how to cope up with the competitiveness. We are trying to generate the confidence of the, our customers and play a vital role in this area. Over a period of time, there are going to be technical learnings also where the performance of the solar panels will have to be proven with the passage of time. On taking all these in consideration, we have developed our own business models and we are going ahead in an effective manner. The plant is built on photovoltaic technology, also called as PV cells. These cells convert solar power directly into electricity. One of the biggest benefits of photovoltaic system is that PV solar panels have a lifespan of over 25 years. As the works progressed, this remote region evolved into a throbbing solar hub. Almost a million solar plates were erected, covering a massive 1,250 acres of land to install 250 megawatt solar power plant. Racing towards a tight deadline within a short span of one year, NTPC team successfully achieved synchronization of 200 megawatt with the Southern Region Grid on 30th April 2016. The sun started shining brighter with the commissioning of Phase 1 of Anantapuram Ultra Mega Solar Power Project. The solar PV project commenced commercial operation from 9th May 2016. Quickly, NTPC also commissioned remaining 50 megawatts. The NTPC Southern Region has taken big initiative in setting up the solar plants in the country. In Southern Region, our capacity is 265 megawatt, which includes 250 megawatt at Anandpur Solar, 10 megawatt at NTPC Ramagundam, and 5 megawatt Port Blair. The solar plant stands as the brightest symbol for robust safety management as 1.3 million safe man hours were put in during the execution of the project. Putting up an ambitious display of finest in solar technology, the project demonstrates NTPC's mission to provide sustainable, efficient and environment friendly power. This plant has performed very well. It has recorded 25% CUF on a given day and which gives a confidence to all of us that this is going to be a star business for NTPC and country as a whole. Electricity generated from the first phase of the plant shall help light up nearly 5 million homes. Southern part of the country will continue to sunshine and will provide major source of renewable energy to NTPC as well as to the country. This project shall also help to reduce 386,000 tons of carbon dioxide in just one year of operation, which is equal to growing 10 million seedlings for 10 years. Going forward by 2032, as per our new business plan, we will be having approximately 28 to 30 percent of our capacity through the renewable and we intend to 
bring down our carbon intensity from 0.92 kg per unit to 0.75 kg per unit. 250 megawatt of cleanest and green electricity generated and supplied to Andhra Pradesh contributes to its growing vibrant economy. A new generation of clean and green power promises to make India self-sufficient in energy, ushering prosperity that touches the lives of millions.